G'day Frothers. So I'm just about to try out a brand new uh, polyester anchoring glue from Ramset. So this is 101 plus and it is a marine grade polyester. So as we've seen in previous videos, polyesters can be strong enough for this kind of application, but they tend not to last very long. They can degrade in, the, in as little as five or 10 years, and then you're left with basically sandy crap in the hole instead of a good glue, and your bolts can fall out. Whereas, you know, this one's marine grade, 100 year service life, it should actually probably be pretty good. So anyway, I've got a bunch of samples here. I've got some concrete and these little threaded studs so we can compare it to the big glue test I've done previously. And I've got a few other samples, um, all with pre-prepared holes. So right now I'm just going to stick the glue in and the bolts and then a couple of days we'll be able to pull it out. But for now, I'll just start sinking these anchors. Okay, so the 101 has come with these nozzles and they're actually uh, very similar to the normal static mixing nozzles, but the square part where the labyrinth is, is only about half as long. Usually they, that'll go up to about there. So not sure why they'd bother doing that. Maybe they don't want to mix too much. And of course, the uh, annoying thing about the ramset glues is they need the specific ramset gun. It's got the coaxial pistons. It's not a side-by-side -side sort of thing. In this particular one, you've got to unscrew that part of the plunger. That thing there. Ugh. What? Ugh. Okay. Yeah, that took quite a while to come out mixing. But polyester, better work fast. So, concrete samples. This nozzle's good because it does actually fit down all the way down in the hole. Okay, so this hole already had a polyester get pulled out of it. Uh, one of those Roma superstars. Now, this soft stuff is only about 12 MPA or something like that. So this is like a very soft stone equivalent. Very nice. Okay, so some concrete, very hard rock, and then very soft rock sort of stuff. Okay, so there's a lot of good stuff on the Ramset website about this. Uh, they've got all sorts of different spec sheets. So I'll just check the one for anchor studs, which is what I normally install. So that's these guys here. And this spec sheet is a lot more detailed than for the old polyester. Like, you know, they didn't really treat it too seriously. It's more for just superficial applications, but they've got uh, all sorts of data here, like proper structural engineering kind of kind of specs. Look how long this thing is. This is the kind of stuff that normally the higher end glues would come with. Anyway, these are the specs that I'm normally interested in here. So like M10 or M12 studs, uh, stainless, shear, and tension. So that's the kind of strength that you can design for. Pretty good to see that they've got such detailed information on here. Don't normally get that polyesters. Okay, so it's been about a week and we can see our polyester sample here. This is an epoxy from a different video. A um, lot of wastage. Oh, okay, so that obviously unmixed, still quite soft. Quite a lot of wastage with this short, uh, short mixing nozzle here. Uh, but we did get there in the end and obviously that's fine. I mean, it's probably set within about 40 minutes or so. Okay, so for the polyester, it's nice and hardened. Uh, it's been about a week since I installed these, and these are the same little studs as my previous video, so we'll be able to compare these directly to that big data set. 
I also got one in this little core sample just to kind of see how it is, you know. Then I've got one in a very, very hard rock. So this is trackite. I've done a bunch of pull testing out of this rock already, but I'm just redoing this one because this is where I had a polyester bolt in there previously. It got over 50 kilonewtons. Uh, and then this stuff here, this is not rock. This is actually like a retaining wall block meant to be about 15 MPA. Uh, also, so pretty weak. So that'll be representative of like a soft sandstone kind of material. And I've got a U-bolt and an old P-bolt. So this is the second pull test it's been through. It is a bit deformed. They're meant to be kind of straight. Okay, first polyester. Let's see how it goes. Twenty four point nine four. Very nice. Ah, cool. So not very strong. 20, 24.94 was the peak. And first time we've had polyester crack this, but it's a pretty small block. Okay, second one. Twenty-four point oh six. Okay, third polyester. Twenty five point oh three, very nice and consistent. Good stuff. So pretty standard pull out failure here. So we've got the glue uh, concrete interfaces where it all failed, and small cone just on the surface. Okay, so if we compare these tests to all the other glues I've tested, uh, it's pretty weak actually. Twenty four point six eight was the average of those three pulls, but that's basically in line with the rest of the polyester glues that we've tried. We've only done these three, Dewalt and another ram set and it's in the middle of those and the single best pull with these little eight millimeter studs 25 kilonewtons these little studs are only eight millimeters so it's still pretty impressive to see how strong these things can get but obviously nothing compared to our really high-end epoxies so i've just laid this down horizontally uh because you know don't want a load cell or even a hydraulic ram just flying around so hopefully this is a bit nicer on the gear anyway let's see how she goes 24, okay. 24.64. Nice. Yeah, pretty good. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Came all the way out. Nice. Cool. U bolt. 36. Cool. Hey, look at that. Woo. Jesus, some bits just shot onto the roof. My God, listen to that. Horrendous. 36.32, hell yeah. Okay, here's the superstar. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. These rammer bolts are bloody good. That's the third pull exceeding 50 kilonewtons that this particular bolt has had, I think. Hell yeah. Glue's pretty good too. And here are all our test pieces. And here are the results. And that is what this thing looked like when it was fresh. So that's a Rorma Superstar, probably my favorite type of glue-in bolt. And if you wanna get some of these or the Lapas ones, uh, not them though, they are homemade, uh, check out the How Not To store. If you use the promo code in my description, you'll get 10% off your first order. 
and you help out my channel too. All right, well, there you go, guys. Interesting stuff coming out from Ramset. So glues have already been really good for a really long time, but it's pretty cool to see there's still a lot of development going on. Anyway, this stuff is obviously super, super strong. We got oh, 59 kilonewtons with this guy, and even the very weakest one, you know, still really, really strong. That's pretty soft stuff. This block that this bolt is in, you know, they've only got a compressive strength of maybe 15 MPa or something like that, whereas your regular concrete, more like 30, uh, something like this trachyte, more like 200. So really, you know, pretty, pretty soft stuff. The glue still worked a treat. So would I use this for climbing anchors? Hell no, absolutely not. Um, firstly, it's a polyester. These glues in this climate, I'm in a pretty warm part of Australia, they just go off too fast. It just goes off too quickly to be useful around here. Yes, you have your, you know, your, all your holes prepared and everything in advance. They're all clean, they're ready to go. But still, I do like to take my time and kind of smooth out the edges and make sure everything's seated correctly and all that. Uh, plus, it's usually hotter. It is the middle of winter. The solstice was like two days ago. This is as cold as it ever gets around here, and it's 24 degrees or something right now. So yeah, really not practical to use this kind of glue just for that purpose. And another reason I wouldn't use this for climbing purposes is it still uses the full size applicator. Look at the size of this gun. These things are big, they're heavy, they're a pain in the ass to have swinging off your harness. If I'm going to be using a polyester glue, I want it to be able to fit into a regular size corking gun, one of the small ones. Not a big thing like this, but also the cost. Uh, this was $32 for 380 milliliters. I can get an epoxy, which is stronger and sets slower for about the same price per milliliter. So you don't even really have a price advantage in using this stuff. That said, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of call for this because, you know, the fact that it's marine grade has a hundred year service life, that's going to be really attractive to, well, most Australians. We live in kind of, you know, the coast. We live around the outside of the continent. For climbing bolts, uh, in my opinion, nothing to get too excited about. It is really good to see innovation happening uh, and improvements happening in the in the chemistry of these things. But it's just not the product for, for, for me and probably for a lot of you either. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and do all that YouTube stuff. Give us a bit of a boost. It really helps us out. And uh, anyway, I will scratch you later.